Venice here in the first century, Marie Antoinette in 1755, and then Florence Nightingale in 1820. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right. Let's see who got it right the fastest time. All these got it right. Lee Cartwright was fast in 6.227. What a lead. Was hard. Was hard. Was hard. You ready for this? No. <laughs> Well, you have to do it, that's why you're here. Come on, yeah. let's go. <laughs> OK, Lee, for 100 quid. Who famously rode naked through the streets of Coventry? Lady Godiva, Queen Elizabeth I, Sir Francis Drake, or Henry VIII? Not a pretty sight. Lady Godiva, Chris. Is right answer, you've got £100. Well done. <laughs> OK, take as long as you need on each one. Question number two is worth 200 quid. Which weather condition do you associate with bolts, claps, clouds and rumbles? Blizzard, wind, fog, thunder. Thunder, Chris. Sure. You look worried. That's right, you've got 200 quid, no problem. <laughs> Have a look at this, worth 300 quid. Which name traditionally goes with Joan to denote a long-time happily married couple? Dutch, Denzel, Derby or Dagmar? I think I'll go Derby. It's good, you got 300 quid. <laughs> right, have a look at this for 500 pounds. Question number four, you've still got all three lifelines. Have a look. On which kind of food would you be most likely to find a parson's nose? Coconuts, mushrooms, prawns, poultry. Poultry. It's good, you got £500. <laughs> right, first important milestone, Lee, you've got £500. You would drop back to nothing if you gave me a wrong answer, but you've got all three lifelines still intact. This is worth a guaranteed £1,000. Here it is, question number five. Which of these songs was a hit for the Rolling Stones? Brown Sugar, Sugar Sugar, Sugar Baby Love, T for Two. <sighs> Brown Sugar. Not T for Two. <laughs> That's Mick and Keith classic. <laughs> Saying to me, Brown Sugar? <laughs> yeah. That's right, Answer. You've got a thousand pounds. Well done. <laughs> Okay, you've got a £1,000, you've still got all three lifelines. Have a look at the next one, you might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. Here it comes. Which language gave us the phrase represented by the initials AD? English, Greek, French, Latin. Latin. Do you want to use the lifelines up to you? No, Latin. Final answer? Yeah, final answer. I think it stands for. I know, Domini. 